Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolors with Jaylene. And for today's tutorial, it's going to be a quick little tutorial on uh, painting dragonflies. And today's, I will show you how to do um, a bookmark. Now I do have three different little examples here, but I'll be working on the bookmark for you today. So at this time, I would like to ask you to subscribe and like my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate that. And then real quick, I will go over a materials list with you. It's pretty basic, really. So I have the watercolor paper, a jar of clean water for my brushes, and my brushes consist of two. One, the first one is a 14, number 14 round brush, and then the second one is a number four round brush. So I have those two. I do have my Micron 03 nib permanent marker. I will be using only two paints today, and they are Violet and Ultramarine, and they are from my Windsor & Newton 24 cake pan set. Um, this, today's bookmark, I will be putting a little ribbon on it. So the ribbon is just a 12 inch uh, scrap piece of ribbon that I had. And so then of course I'll be using hole punch as well. So to get started, let me set these aside for just a moment. And uh, to, to cut the paper, because I do start out with a 12, I'm sorry, a six by eight inch piece of watercolor paper. Or if you have scrap watercolor paper laying around, that'll work as well. So this, I'm just going to cut it and show you real quick how I do this. All of my bookmarks are typically a two inch wide. So I use the mark on the paper cutter and then just slice it up. And there we have two, two bookmarks ready to paint. And you know, bookmarks are so nice. They make a quick little gift for someone if you're giving someone a book or a card. Um, you know, for any occasion, they're just really nice to have around. So what I am going to do is start with just a plain piece of watercolor paper, and we're going to be putting a background color on it. So for that, I will be using my number 14 round brush. And let me move my paints over here a little bit. Okay, so for this, I am going to uh, dab it into the, I have the ultramarine here. No, I have the violet. And so I have an awful lot of water and very little paint on my brush. And I just want to go down through and add, you know, just a little little bit of paint to give it a background shading. And so you do want it a little uh, lighter and darker. You don't want it all the same tone. You know, you want to add a little bit of texture color to it throughout. So there, there's the background and that's just how fast and easy that is. You're gonna be surprised at how quick this is to make. So you can do a last minute if you have to, you know. So we do want this to dry totally before we start on, on painting the um, dragonfly on top because we don't want the colors to blend at all. So we'll let this dry real well and then we will uh, start with the, the uh, wings to the dragonfly. And the top one, the larger one, is going to be a little bit darker. I don't think you can really tell in this video. but the larger wing is just a little bit darker than the smaller wing. And then the body of the dragonfly and the eyes have um, the ultramarine blue mixed in with the violet to give it a little bit different of a color. So we'll let this dry. And for the sake of this video, I have one that's already dry. So we can get started right away. So with that being said, let me grab my number four round brush and for this, let's move this over a little bit. So for, for the wing, I want to make sure, I don't want a whole, whole lot of water on the brush. And so we want to make this at an angle, the wings at an angle. So we'll start uh, with the right side wing and just draw straight out 
and then kind of curve around and come up at the middle. And we do want the outside of the wing to be much wider than where it meets up with the body. So then for the wing on the left side, we want to leave a little bit of space room for the body itself. And we'll grab a little bit more paint. And then just bring this wing over and there again make it a little wider on the outside and up to the middle kind of a teardrop shape and that one I want to make it just a little bit longer and you can see where on both sides it went outside of the background color and that's perfect that's kind of what we want so then for the smaller wings down below uh, we want to start and they won't be as wide or as long as the top wing so and we want to leave just a little bit of space just a little bit of space in there and we'll bring that right about there and then here again we want the the outside of it to be wider than where it meets up with the body okay and then the same over here and it's basically just a teardrop shape that's all it is okay so we do have uh, the two wings so now for the body part we want the violet of course and then we want to also mix in a little bit of the ultramarine to give it that bluish tint So, so for the body, it's basically just one large, I guess, teardrop shape. I'm not sure what to call it. Probably like a teardrop shape. So we start here, and we don't necessarily want this touching anything. Now, I did touch it just a little bit right there, and that's okay. So we want this to be kind of long. And then um, each little section of the body will, will be its own little um, teardrop shape. And then we also want it to kind of curve. We don't want it going straight. And there again, these don't have to be perfect teardrop. They could be, you know, just a little oval. And you can see that one isn't perfect at all. And that's fine. And then they do get a little smaller as you go down. Okay. And then for the eyes, we just want to do a couple dots up here. Let's make them just a little bit larger. I want you to be able to see, see that real well. Okay, so there's the... There's the basic, um, the basic dragonfly. So now we do have to let this dry very well so that we can take the permanent marker and go and draw in the veins to the, to the wings and then also a couple little highlights along the body and around the eyes. So we'll give this just a moment to dry. Okay, so this is nice and dry now. So we can go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. All right, so with my Micron 03 nib, I'm going to go in and along the top of the wing, you know, I just kind of want to draw that in. And then very lightly, you know, it's not even a solid line and just kind of put in um, you know, just a few little veins, and then over here, do the same. You know, and just whoops, we do want a little bit more than that. So, you can just draw in some veins into the wings, there we go. I always like to use a highlighter or a permanent marker on a lot of these just to give some detail 
because it's a very basic draw, a very basic painting, but the um, the markers they really add a lot of texture and detail to it and make it look more complicated than what it really is. So then with the eyes, I just kind of you know just kind of draw a little loop. It doesn't have to go all the way around. And then with the body, the same thing. And I just go on the one side basically, and then all the little bodies going down through here. And I do kind of like to make sure that it's not right against the paint. And then on the body itself, just draw a couple of lines that kind of indicate that it's a rounded body. So there, that's it. That is, that's just how quick and easy this is. And like I said, if you wanted to put, you know, a little inspirational saying down here, um, that always works nice. And then just for the for the little ribbon at the top, let's punch a hole in here. I'm not sure where I can see this best. And then with my ribbon, and the ribbon that I'm using is kind of a coppery. I think it might have been left over from Christmas. So we just put that in there real quick. Okay, so there we go. And then, um, why don't I just go ahead and I'll put, be kind, and then kind of, cutesy up your letters. There's all kinds of different fonts and letters and, you know, think, ways that you can make them look real cutesy. Not the best at the lettering, I have to admit, but I do like to try and make it look a little, a little more fun. So there, that is the end of it. And that's just how quick and easy it is. It's a great little gift to give to someone at the last minute. Um, let me put these, and then for this one, all I did was a square piece of paper and the same thing, I did a little bit of a background, background color on that. And then uh, the dragonfly on top. And you can see they're all, this one is a little bit different. The wings are down a little further. That I don't care for quite as much, but there's no right or wrong to any of it for sure. So that is all for this video today. And as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't already liked and subscribed my channel, if you could go ahead and do that, and that way you will get notifications. Uh, it, uh, hit the bell and you'll get notifications when I do have new videos that come up. If you haven't gone over to my Patreon page, why don't you go over and check that out? There's all kinds of downloadables um, there's traceables for some of the other videos. This won't be on there because it's just a little too easy, but a lot of the other videos that I've done, I do have traceables on there. Um, I have instruction sheets. I have videos. I'm always adding to it. So anything that you see here on YouTube, chances are you will be able to find a traceable over there. If you're not good at drawing, you want to paint it. You're not good at drawing. Go over there for a couple bucks a month and you can download it and have a great time. So that is all for today. And until next time, ciao for now.